This is where the Russians are very, very good, especially with their women, the Niwaza. Look at that turnover, that transition control. And the Juju Kadami is on. And is she going to get a finish out of it? Knees need to be a bit closer together. Big gap there. Needs to come and sit back up and then get a little bit more control in that arm. If she only sat up a bit more and brought the knees together, she might actually just get it. What a crazy opportunity she had there. Too much of a panic into there. She should have taken her time and... And the Turkish contender is holding her elbow. Obviously, it was under a little bit of strain, but not enough to get a submission from that. This is me with the Russians, because they are normally very, very strong in the groundwork. And when they get an opportunity like that, they never let it go. And so her coach won't be disappointed in that something to work on when she goes home. Again, they're looking for a flurry of attacks here in the knee waza. Good grip from Sahin there. Sumigesh attack, but she's left herself wide open in the Niwaza. Unfortunate for her, the Russian didn't capitalize on that. Very deep grip there, and maybe left herself a little bit vulnerable there for a counter attack. Let him survive that. But she's piling the pressure on this young lady from Turkey. And um, the referee will be taking note of that, and it could be a passivity warning coming up for the Russian quite soon, I would have thought. It's getting to that time. And yes, there's a passivity warning now given. One more like that, and it's score on the board. So that was tactically very, very good for Sahin. Looking for the Niwaza again. She's got that arm for the Juji. Now she's gonna try and flip her over. The foot is on the back of the head. Now, we've seen this before. Is she gonna get it right this time? Trying to get the leg furthest away to bring it across her body. Sahin tight enough to maintain that control. But you wouldn't want her hanging off the back of your arm for too many times.
for 18 seconds on the clock and um, up until now Sahin has been doing a lot of the work Niwaza obviously the Russian has really dominated down there and has had two great opportunities but failed to capitalize on it and finish which will be a real disappointment to her but we're now looking at golden score with four seconds to go. Very, very tight between these two young ladies. Now it's about who can compose themselves and while the, the belts are getting tied up, who's tactically much more aware? Who's got the game plan for this? golden score section the Russian to me is looking like she's struggling with the lactic acid that's most probably built up in her arms just now shaking her arms in the air obviously a bit of a burnout there Been quite challenging for her that cross grip there drawing the arm right round the back looking for the Uchimata Ochigari is nice and deep there now. Can she rotate around? Oh, no! Oh, goodness me. Well, it was going to be one of those situations that it could have gone either way. And um, for, the, for the Russian, she was given an opportunity and she took it. And... Um, Dikonova goes over, she goes on to the next round and it was a great performance from the Turkish contender and sadly that golden